Hello YouTube. I swear I think I pretty much decided that it just wasn't meant for me to upload a video this week. I've tried like five or six times and it's just not working out, but we'll try again. Um, I just wanted to do a little update video. It's only been a week since my last update, but I've learned a lot in a week. Um, last week, I discovered that my homemade compost was leaps and bounds better than store-bought. And everything has just taken off. I just put like a handful of compost around some things that weren't doing well and watered things with compost tea. And in just like maybe a week and a half at the most, things have turned around. They're starting to produce. I mean, and when I put all my tomato plants in the pots, I used half com organic store-bought compost and half organic potting soil. Now, it wasn't miracle Grow; It was one of the better brands. And I even used like specific fertilizer for tomatoes and for vegetable plants and that was all organic. It didn't work. It didn't work at all. I started putting my homemade compost on things and they've just taken off. This thing, this uh, tomato plant, I'm not even sure what kind it is. It looks like it's going to be a bigger one. It's growing out of a hole in the in the cinder block. So I, you know, I thought, well, maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Plant tomatoes there instead of lettuce next year. All my lettuce is doing wonderful. Which it, I wasn't having a lot of trouble with my lettuce, but the uh, tomato plants and the peppers, they were having a hard time. I even put Epsom salt on them. I did everything they say to do. It just wasn't working out. And it kind of really didn't matter whether they were in here, which seems to be really good soil. And I've mulched probably four or five inches, or whether it was these pots. This one has just taken off since I started using the compost tea and the compost. And even the pepper in it is actually growing, and the basil. And they weren't before. So who knew? Obviously, store-bought compost, big no-no. My green beans, finally starting to produce. You'd think with all of these vines, they would be producing prolifically, and they're not. These little tomato plants were all but shriveled up and dead. These, I don't know what I did wrong, but I didn't do something right, and they weren't looking good at all. They weren't growing, they were stunted, and I probably have three inches of growth in a week on them. So, well, one thing I did do right was this giant zucchini, but It uh, is taking up a lot of space. And another thing I learned was that even though what everybody tells your peppers need sun, bright, full sun, mine would not and did not grow. They were yellow and short like the other one up front until this zucchini shaded them out. And now all my plants are growing again. This makes no sense to me from what I've been taught and read and know, but it's working in my garden. This thing has probably grown a foot in a week, week and a half. Darn fly on there. Why is it just sitting there? Go away. This is one of those little patio tomatoes. I know they're hybrids. 
but I just thought I'd try to grow one. I've got one little tomato on it. I don't plan on it producing prolifically. This thing is putting out all kinds of blooms again. It's still dropping them, but it's putting blooms out. And I might actually get a tomato out of this. I've been trying to self-pollinate them. And they're just kind of dinging them. Hopefully it works. It's like this one, from what I've read, that should be a really big tomato. This is one of those pink brandy ones. Um, flies seem to like it though. The basil anyway. Even the basil in there. The marigold, everything was just kind of blah, not really growing. I put my compost on it, started watering it with compost tea, and voila. So, I got a credit Praxis for that. He, uh, I watched one of his videos about it, and just, it's changed my garden. So you live and learn. Here's my little corn. I don't think it gets enough sun here. Um, I think it's probably about four to five hours of just, you know, beaten down sun. But then the evenings, it's kind of shaded, so it's not, uh, may not get enough to produce, but I'll probably move them next year and plant a little bigger. I just wanted to see if I could grow it here. And this is the lovely Miracle Maker compost. I'm going to get another one of these and really, really, really start concentrating my effort into that because obviously that's the way to go. I was trying to, you know, use it for next year's garden is what I thought I was making it for. But, turns out this year needed it. And this is just my little project to see, you know, you read about all these GMOs and crap they're putting in our food. And you wonder, how in the world would I grow my own food? Well, even if it's just tomatoes, you've taken out one part of the equation on a balcony. And you can grow a lot of things in pots. This basil, for instance, isn't doing the greatest. It's got a little tomato plant with it, which isn't doing the greatest, but it is starting to come out of it. And I have a little cucumber plant planted in there that was not doing well at all. And it's starting to That's pretty much what all my pepper plants look like. And that one even looks better. So we'll see. There's my potatoes and green beans. We'll see what we can get growing this year. And I have a big garden at my grandmother's where I'm growing a lot of tomatoes and a lot of corn and a big strawberry patch. You know, things that I really like. Um, we Plant of potatoes and peppers and cabbage and things like that. So hopefully we get a pretty good and green beans and squash. Hopefully we can get a pretty good harvest off of that and are able to um, can a bunch and dehydrate a bunch. And I'll do a separate video on my front garden. Uh, have some plans to expand that and I'll tell you about that then. So thanks for watching. Hope it wasn't too long.